Oh, hello, how there? Shalom Aik Agwala is my name. By God's grace, I manage this YouTube channel, simply known as Evom Channel. I'm glad you are here. And I sincerely believe you must have been getting loads of blessings from watching contents on this channel. Now, we humbly make this five requests of you. Number one, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. It is free of charge. Number two, remember to click the notification bell. This will enable you to receive notices of fresh uploads on this channel. Number three, your feedbacks are of utmost importance to us. For this reason, remember to comment on our productions and our uploads as much as you could. Number four, when you click the like button, then you are telling us that we are doing something good. So remember to always like the uploads. And five, which is of great importance to us too. Remember to share news about this channel with your loved ones and bring them on board so that they can equally be blessed through what we upload on this channel. Oh, thank you so very much. Have a great time. <laughs>
Messi está vendo. You are here. You also didn't make it. Ah. 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 You understand what is happening? I was so perplexed. This cannot be the rapture. This must not be the rapture. This must not be the rapture. Ah. Ah. Dear mommy, I was so good. This is a breaking news. There has been reports of sudden disappearances of some people from no. around the world. No. This has thrown many no. communities into unprecedented no. pandemonium. The no. National Emergency Agency no. reports that no. the disappearances was no. not caused no. by any human or natural conditions. No. The cause is yet unknown. In the meantime, security agents and emergency workers are actively on ground to attend to emergencies. The president, through his Minister for Internal Affairs, has directed state governors to take charge of situations in their respective states. Make sure that all the people are being carried along in decision making process. Do you understand what I'm telling you? And then um, gather them together and pray together. And all the things that I'm teaching you all this while, impact it into them. And they must be able to pray. We'll raise up a firebrand. Uh oh. Daddy. Mommy. Broccoli. Lip. Sister Debbie. All of you are still here. You are not gone. Gone where? Oh, Daddy. Dayo. Oh. Are you alright? Oh. Is everything okay with you? Oh. No, sir. I'm not okay, sir. Ah. I'm not alright. Ah. You haven't sweat him. Eh? What's the problem? Eh? Oh. Sit. Caleb, Deborah, can you please excuse us for a few minutes? We'll continue our discussion later. God bless you. Now, speak to me. What's the problem? Honestly, I don't know, sir. You don't know? No, sir. I'm really confused. Please, explain to me what the problem is so that we can be able to help you. I had a dream. A dream? Yes, ma. Is that why you're so disturbed? Ah, oh, mommy. It was a terrible dream. It was a dream about the rapture. In that dream, I was in church with some brethren, preparing for a Sunday service. Suddenly, some of the people in the church building disappeared. Brother Caleb and Sister Debbie were part of those that made it in that dream. Sir, I ran to your office to check on you and mommy, but you were also gone. 
<laughs> it was then that he fully dawned on me <laughs> that I had missed the rapture. But it was just an ordinary dream. Ah, mommy. Ah. It was so real. Even if it was an ordinary dream. Why did I miss the rapture in that dream? Why? Well, why that might be an ordinary dream? It could as well be a divine revelation that God is using to warn you about your present state. Present state? Yeah. What state, sir? I'm a Christian. As a Christian, how could I have missed the rapture? Sir, what is the essence of being a Christian if some Christians will eventually miss the rapture? Oh, no, 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 no. No true Christian will miss the rapture. It is simply impossible. Let me illustrate it. You see, um, the engineering department dropped. Okay, yes, I still have it. They dropped this thing. Um, okay. Let me illustrate this. Now, take a look at this. Why were all these objects magnetized? Because they are metals. Did the magnet fail to pick any metals? Uh, no, 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 sir. That is exactly my point. In as much as the object is a metal, the magnet will pick it. In the same way, in as much as you are a true Christian, the Lord Jesus will go with you in the rapture. Sir, what do you mean by true Christian? Sorry, I had to use the adjective true to qualify Christians who are truly born again. This ought not to be so. Because a Christian should always be Christian. Simple. Unfortunately, this is where we found ourselves. Some people merely bear the tag Christian when they are not even born again. Sir, you mean I'm not a true Christian? Only you can tell. You see, just because some people attend a church or serve in a church, they assume they are Christians when indeed they have not at any time encountered Jesus Christ, not to talk of surrendering their lives to Jesus. It is written in Titus 1 16. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work to reprobate. We have some of them in churches today. Some even carry heavy titles. Oh. Mm. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12, the Bible says, Wherefore, let him that think he stand take it lest he falls. This means it is not enough for you to be a Christian. You must be careful not to fall from faith into sin, which eventually leads to eternal damnation. When you fall, you become unqualified to go with Jesus in the rapture. Listen, no one can accurately judge the spiritual state of another. Only you can tell. Can you, Dio, remember ever giving your life to Jesus at any time? If yes, can you boldly say you are still standing right in Christ? If your answer to any of these questions is no or I'm not sure, then I encourage you to do the needful. Go before God and make your way right with God. Hmm. Brother Dayo, do you understand all that he has said? Yes, ma'am. Daddy, I want to confess. I can't remember giving my life to Jesus at any time. All I know is that I grew up attending church with my parents. I later found myself in the choir when I joined this church as a youth copper seven months ago, I also joined the choir where I became a lead vocalist. From time to time, I'm given the opportunity to lead praise sessions and special numbers during services. I'm also active in the youth fellowship. I've also had the rare privilege of following daddy for ministrations. We have ministered in songs before daddy's ministrations. 
aside from this, I always try my best to live a good life. With all this, I thought I was as good as being a Christian. Unfortunately, thinking of feeling you a Christian does not make you one. <sighs> hmm. I feel bad. Not just for you, but also for myself. You have been laboring faithfully in this church for the past seven months. And I never bothered to probe into your spiritual state. I have seen you sing beautifully day in and day out. And I was deceived into thinking that you are a child of God when you are not even born again. I have not done well. Dio. Sir. Are you ready to surrender your life to Jesus Christ now? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready, sir. Good. Go before God. Ask Him to have mercy on you. Ask Jesus to come into your life and make you a new creature. Mommy and I, we ask God to forgive us for shaking in our pastoral oversight over you. I think it's time for us to pray. Let's bow our heads to pray. Father, we ask you for mercy by your son, Dio. We also ask you for mercy over our own life too. Lord, we ask you to come into the life of Dio. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus.